Hi, I'm Dr. Stan Kucher from teenmentalhealth.org and I'm here to talk to you about mental health. In particular, I'm here to talk to you about the new updated version of the classroom mental health curriculum resource called The Guide. The Guide is the only Canadian evidence-based mental health resource designed to be used by everyday classroom teachers in their classrooms to enhance the mental health literacy of their students. Now what this means is that teachers learning how to use the guide and applying the use of this resource can improve the mental health literacy of their students. students know how to obtain and maintain good mental health. They understand mental disorders in their treatments. Stigma goes way down and the help-seeking efficacy, the ability of students to know when and where to go to get help and to have competencies to help them get the best care that's available are all learned in the usual classroom in the usual way that students learn everything. The guide is available free online. Teachers can be trained to use the resource. There are six modules, all classroom ready, with teacher preparation, materials, PowerPoints, animated videos, the whole kit and caboodle. All the teachers have to do is learn how to apply the guide in their classrooms. The evidence that we have to date is really quite exceptional. We have been able to demonstrate in a number of very different studies in different parts of Canada that this approach, the teachers learning how to use the material, then applying it in their own way, using their own professional skill sets in their own classrooms, improves teachers' own mental health literacy increases their knowledge and decreases their stigma and at the same time improves their students mental health literacy It improves the students knowledge it decreases the student stigma and it enhances student help seeking efficacy we've also been able to demonstrate that once this is done in the classroom the positive effects persist over time so that when we go back and measure months later these gains are maintained. This is a very, very different way of addressing mental health in schools. It is not a program. It's not parachuted into a school. You don't buy it. It's not somebody doing something to the school. It's not something that is outside usual pedagogic practices. In fact, it's completely the opposite. What this is a sustainable approach utilizing the social ecology of the school and the professional capabilities of the teacher. It enhances capacity in the school. It improves competencies of teachers. It improves mental health literacy of teachers and of students and it's actually very simple. All that happens is that teachers learn how to use this resource and then they use it in their classroom the same way that any teacher teaches geography or math or history or whatever. There is no fixed protocol. There is no fidelity of application and that makes it able to be used anywhere. All you need is a teacher, the guide resource, and students and you can do it whatever way makes most sense for your setting. This approach, as I said before, is so different than a parachuted program intervention into schools. So the results of this intervention are also so much better than the results of any one single parachuted intervention. So for example, there are lots of different anti-stigma programs that can be put into a school. 
in this resource because addressing stigma is woven throughout the entire resource and one of the six modules is specifically about stigma, the results actually are better in the student's decrease of stigma than a parachuted program going into a school. And there is another bonus is when the teachers learn how to use the resource, a byproduct of that learning is major reduction in teacher's stigma. And this persists. It stays. And as the teacher teaches more and more and more, they're able to address knowledge, they're able to decrease stigma, and they're able to help students enhance their help-seeking efficacy. We hope that you'll consider using the guide in your classrooms. It's designed specifically for grades 9 and 10, but I know it's been used in grades 8 and up to grades 11 very successfully. The resource is free. You can obtain it at teenmentalhealth.org under curriculum. You will need to have a password to access it. Why? Because we want to know where people are coming from to be able to use the resource. In case you're interested, the password is T33NH3ALTH. Go have a look. I hope you can use it. It's Dr. Stan Kucher talking to you about mental health. Thanks for listening.